Good morning guys. I'm hopefully going to do a short how-to video this morning on how to make chomp. And honestly, this could just be an excuse for me to actually have a bucket labeled chum bucket because who doesn't want a chum bucket also this is my other tool the pulverizer it's just basically a uh, old uh, piece of galvanized um, chain link fence post kind of blunted and sharpened at one end and hence the metal bucket didn't work so well with the plastic bucket last time but I've come prepared so let's look at what is being pulverized in the chunk. All right, guys, as you can see, it's clean out day to day. Basically, all my freezer scraps, the bait freezer scraps, going in there. So let's look at it. We got a bunch of old, um, possibly moldy bread, um, and then or stale crackers, shrimp peels, crab car carapaces, some old nasty bait shrimp. Um, and I think I've got some old ribbon fish back there that I never used. Anyway, so like this is stuff that I would, you know, would have thrown away or like gone elsewhere. So it's really just trying to make the most out of what I have, so. Anyway, it's a pretty basic process. Let's throw it all together and pulverize it. All right, so basically, just start crunching it down like this. Safety glasses might be a, might be a smart thing. I haven't added the bread in yet. I'm gonna get all this, these crab shells and everything crunched down. Now I'm going to start adding the bread in. And all this is, is going to be a uh, binder for the chum. Otherwise, it's going to be very loose and it's not going to last as long. You can use anything with like a type of flour in it. I mean, bread is mostly flour. So, um, like you could use just straight flour if you wanted to. But I'm just going to use some old bread and crackers because last time I used all the wife's baking flour she got mad so and this is cheaper and saving me from throwing it out I can hopefully chum some fish up with it so you can see guys it's mostly broken down now to kind of a doughy mixture with all the bread in there which means it'll hold together better. Um, so now all I gotta do is uh, package it up and throw it back in the freezer and be ready for use. So I'll show you that, um, but pretty basic process. All right, so basically I use just whatever little um, plastic containers I've got, these gelato, containers work really well they're not very big if you wanted to go bigger you can always go to a some type of tupperware container um and you can use a bigger spoon i've just got this handy dandy little old ladle that i'll scoop it out and you can see i've got here's one i've already made up and it's been in the freezer already so it's all frozen and basically i just take the lid off there's your chum and then throw it in your chum bag and you know this this container helps keep it lasting a little longer as well so go ahead and package a little bit up it's basically like an ice cream scoop right mm. good ice cream right there that's that is a limited time only flavor special ingredients Just, this ladle works really well because it has the rounded so I can really just pack it in there and get all that that air out of there so I can get the most into one little container once I got it all in there 
to scrape it off. So there it is. Lid. Mm, it's a little bit of air in there, but it's still good. So there you go. Chom. Set it over there to go in the freezer and repeat. Also, don't have anything, just a regular plastic cup works really well. Um, and then I'll just basically slap a small piece of tin foil over it. Granted, this isn't like, this is very um, leak resistant if you're gonna throw it in a cooler with other things. If you're gonna throw it in here, I usually have a small container or something that I throw all my bait or my chum into so it doesn't have the chance of leaking and getting all over other cooler contents so but that's a cheap option if you have to actually buy something but the whole process with this is just trying to reuse and not waste so that is the idea and there we go guys got our chum all ready to go get ready to freeze and uh, ready for use Anyway, I hope you guys can use that. Obviously, there's better ways to do it. Um, I mean, take it and run with it. I just, when I first was looking at making chum, um, I was like, oh, I gotta get a grinder, I gotta get all this other stuff. And I pretty much made my first batch in a plastic bucket. And then I had that piece of um, that old fence post and that was it just like a large like mortar and pestle or whatever and just grind away so anyway take it and run with it next is actually trying the chum out so stay tuned for that video and uh anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time